<laughs> if she's in the other room, she's gonna be like, she's crazy. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite skincare products. I have dry skin, first things, and I'm going to show you things from face cleansers to creams and face masks and sunscreens and all of that. Now at the end of the video, I will also take you to do my night routine. So I have makeup on right now, so obviously I'm going to start with that. So let's get started! Okay, so the first thing I wanna share with you guys is actually face cleansers because that's usually the first step of my night routine. Face cleanser for dry skin, I found that this Korean brand, Laneige, this one is a moisturizing cream cleanser because sometimes it's like when I use different cleansers, they don't, like they're like foam cleansers and all of that, it's not as moisturizing. And this one, because I think it's because it's a cream cleanser, it's really moisturizing and I only need a little bit. Honestly, so this thing lasts. It's a little expensive. I think like for the rest of the face cleansers that I've ever used This one's a little more on the expensive side. I think I bought this at Marshall's for 15 So yeah, but it's really good and so dry skin people cannot basically use Not like cannot but like you shouldn't use um exfoliators because they dry your skin more. So I found these two, these are peeling gels. This one is Clean It Zero, and this one is um, T-I-A-M or I-I, I'm not really sure. It's These two are basically their peeling gels and they're like soft exfoliators, so they're very gentle. And I find that it works really well, especially this one over here. This one smells good and this one over here though, really does brighten. Next thing I want to show you is so there's a couple of toners that I've found really good in the past year or a couple months. This one is a Japanese brand. It's not that expensive. I think I got it for uh, $7. And this one I usually use before makeup. So I kind of just soak like things. And also this one, I also use it before makeup. This is a rice toner. I think these are really good for like pre-makeup. This one, I think this one's a Chinese brand. Um, Relit. It's a spray though, and this one, the spray is really nice. It's like, hold on. It's like really small or very fine, very fine spray. Um, I usually like to, this one's hyaluronic acid. I usually like to use this one actually a lot more than these two before makeup. I spray it and then I kind of pat dry. I do that three times and that's usually enough for before makeup, especially for dry skin. There is one toner. This one is an Olay toner. It's the Radiance Niacinamide toner. This one I bought as a set. So I also have like their emulsion and serum, which I will show later. This one is for uh, brightening. First one I use is, they're the same brand, I think. I don't know if the brand is called OOTD or hashtag OOTD, but I have two of them, one for morning and one for night. This one is vitamin C and this one is Peptide, it has peptide, vitamin C, and collagen. This one has vitamin C, niacinamide, and ceramide. Anyway, so this one's for morning. Ooh. This one's for night. And I find that they do reduce dark circles. Um, they do, I think, because I feel like my eyes, my dark circles, have been less dark. But you have to use it consistently, and honestly, I don't use it consistently, which is like pretty bad. But still, I got a little bit of results. So these ones are pretty recommended. This one's a little more watery. This one's a little more creamy, which is the reason why it's at night. Now I will show you the serums that I have found really good. Um, first one being a super matcha pore tightening serum. Even dry skin people have big pores sometimes. I think I like to use this one every now and then. I don't use it all the time. And I know like you're supposed to be using the same ones every day for like for it to work, but I find that mixing works for me. This one is the one that comes with the set, the Olay Radiance one. And before I used one that's like not, I think it has lower concentration. The one that, the one that I started with has lower concentration. This version is like 5%. Niacinamide. I think it's the highest you should go on your skin with niacinamide. I heard two to five percent is what works best on your skin, and I think five percent is best for brightening. And I do have dull skin. This one is, I still don't know how to say it, ampoule? I don't know, correct me. But this one is like the strong version of a serum that I really like a lot because you can see I already used up. I bought this maybe like a month or two ago and I already used up so much because I find that using this before my makeup also works really well. 
but it's also because like with dry skin it's like you want to prep your skin enough and have like have it be moisturized enough but at the same time not too much because otherwise it'll start to like cake and everything this is the oil that i like to use it's huxley i think this one's slightly expensive i've had it for a while so i don't remember but you can see i don't actually use it that much because too much oil even on dry skin could be too heavy and i will break out if i have too much oil on my skin i find that this is also really good for a like if you have dry skin and you're trying to use I don't know, foundation, cushion foundation, and it starts to like flake. If you have too much on your skin, it will make your foundation not stay. Ta-da! This is the set, the Olay set. This one's an emulsion, so it's a little more watery, but it makes your skin like silky smooth after you use it paired with the rest of this stuff. So this is the nut, the other one that I use. It's also Olay. This one's the Signal Peptide. It makes your skin super smooth afterwards and it feels very moisturized and it, it's great. And sometimes on the drier days, I will actually use this one, the toner, serum, the emulsion, and then the cream. It's also because like this one's more for like, this one's more for like collagen and stuff like that. And then this one's more for brightening, but it's like, it's different effects, but also you can mix and match. I don't know, I just like it. The uh, Super Aqua 10X Hyaluronic Gel Cream. This one also works really well before makeup. My skin is always dry, but like certain days, like especially the winter, this might not be enough for after or for before makeup. Um, but I do have one that's like, I think is pretty expensive. Like it's actually really expensive for me, but I decided to try it anyways. And I found that it's really, really good. It's the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base cream, all-in-one primer, and moisturizer. So I think they say you can use it morning and night, but because it says primer and moisturizer, it makes me think I can't use it at night because it's a primer. Usually on winter days like these in the Bay Area, it gets very, very dry. This one is perfect for before makeup. I only use it for makeup because it's too expensive. The first one is Korean brand Neogen Dermatology. This one is SPF 50. Smells like lemons, very light, but very moisturizing, not sticky at all. And this one's actually almost empty. I have a new one. I forgot how much it was, but I think it's like around 20 or 30, so it's slightly expensive. The other ones that I've been using lately a lot are Japanese brands. Um, I think it's Kanibo, Ali like my sister, same name, <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> she's in the other room, she's gonna be like, she's crazy. Anyways, the first one, this one is uh, colorless, I believe, Gel UVX. This one I use before foundation. Whereas when I don't wanna wear makeup, I use this one. This is their rose chair, rose chair color. So this one's like kind of pink tinted and it brightens your skin. This one is for when I don't wanna use foundation, but obviously because it's just sunscreen, it doesn't have coverage. Um, so on, only on the good days. These both are SPF 50 PA4+. So they're very strong. They're really good for outdoors, even though I'm always indoors. So I think these ones are physical sunscreens, not chemical sunscreens. This one is a chemical sunscreen, I believe. Nose strip. This is Kala. Not very recommended if you don't like, if you don't have like blackheads or like a lot of whiteheads or anything, I do not recommend using nose strips for dry skin because honestly this not only peels off your, your gunk from your pores, but it also peels off your dead skin. And if you have dry skin like me, you know how much that's gonna peel off. But I have like two of those, this one and this one. This one's Cream Shop and this one. If you do need it though, these two are pretty good. And then I have under eye patches. I have four different ones. Uh, Kala, some brand, two Cream Shop brands. So these are all actually Korean brands. I wanna say the Cream Shop ones, they're cute and they work better. This one I recently bought, it's a Chinese brand that I have no idea what it's called in English. I think it's Mask Family. But this one is the one that they say is supposed to help you. It's almost for like things that are caused by dry skin. 
This one's a nice cinnamide mask at 4% and I think I've showed it in my past videos before. I do really like this one because it comes with the little like extra serum on top that you're supposed to use. Uh, this one's more for brightening, but also like it has like Himalayan ice water. I have three sleeping masks. Two of these are Olay. One of them's rejuvenating and the other one's illuminating. So these ones, you're actually supposed to it's very cool. You're actually supposed to use it with this thing, which I think is supposed to be like a magnet kind of thing. And so basically what you do is like, you just kind of put this on. So you kind of just massage it into your skin. And the last face mask that I have is from the cream shop. It's a gel overnight treatment for like, I think 2X collagen. So the last two products that I would like to show you is for my hands. One of them is the Cream Shop Soothing and Restoring Hand Mask, and the other one is Esfolio Hand and Nail Vital Mask. This one's actually touch screen friendly, so you can wear it and still go on your phone and scroll TikTok or whatchamacallit you guys like to watch. Anyways, now I'm going to take you to my night routine. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the time. So that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope that maybe some of you have found um, some of these product recommendations helpful or if you also have dry skin or I don't know or if you feel like your skin is like dry even if you don't have dry skin or like combination dry. If you have sensitive skin though, I'm not really sure because I don't know how like friendly these are for sensitive skin so just saying that. I hope you found this video helpful or enjoyable. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!